Hello you, before we get started I want to let you know about Instant Gaming, a key selling website where you can get great discounts on all of the top Steam games, Uplay, Origin, all those ones as well. And uh, what's the best thing about it is not only do you get a great price, you help Geekism as well because I get a little cutback on every single purchase you make. You can find the link in the description to this DLC available on that site when it comes out, The, the Secrets of Doctor Wu, uh, and also loads of other games as well. So bookmark the link and uh, every time you get a game for cheap, you're going to give Geekism a little bit of a push as well. Thanks very much and enjoy the video. As you can see, this facility has remained hidden from view, and for good reason. In time, and as the need arises, I'll let you know why. For now, exploit it as best you can. Hello you, welcome to Geekism, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. Come on then, Emery Wu, you're the big star here, mate. What have you got to tell me? Too cautious. Too safe. Yeah, I'd like to kill a few people. That's what I want to do. Um, so, uh, not a bad size. Okay. Yeah. Seemingly. Oh, well. Our secret. Our secret. Yeah, fine by me. Some ammo. <laughs> I had no idea this facility existed. Huh. Well, I know about it now. And I assume there's money to be made. <laughs> yeah, typical Cabot Finch, that in it. <laughs> A secret facility around the back of an island? Well, let's open it up to the public. So, um, <laughs> yes, hello. This is the Secrets of Doctor Wu, the first full DLC expansion for Jurassic World Evolution. Thought we'd dive in and have a look. To unlock uh, this, we had to go uh, to... Uh, let's see how the easiest way to see it is... Uh, Islam Huerta, we had to get four stars on Islam Huerta, and when we did, we opened up the backside of the island, and you know me, I'm all for opening backsides. So, um, that now leaves us with this space, and at the minute, I don't know what we have to do. I, I thought it would give us something to do, but, um, no, it's just gonna, just gonna let us push through. No new dinos, though. There are new, there are five new dinos, but we're not gonna get through research. I assume we get them through, you know, kind of questing and getting started, really. So, really, we have to get all of this stuff up, I suppose. Um, feeder cost reduction, three stars. Um, so for the most part, we just we just kind of build it like normal, I guess. Uh, the DLC is all about Doctor Wu, who is um, who who was in the original movie as a bit of a bit part. I think he had a bigger role in the book, but he was in the original movie. It has a bit of a um, uh, a bit of a bit part, um, and and uh, he, he was, to one sense purposes, a pretty good guy as well. But then in the later movies, the Jurassic World one, he he kind of became the bad guy. To be honest, he kind of became the one who was like, uh, let's turn all the dinos into um, crazy hybrids and and the Indoraptor and all those. Those are those are down to him. So yeah, it's a bit of a character shift for him, really. And in this, seeing as this is set in between the two Jurassic World movies, he's sort of plotting and toying with uh, with making some uh, super nasty dinos. So I guess we're going to help it, which is fine by me. A uh, few expedition map. Do we have any... I was looking before as to whether there's any new ones. Um, I don't know whether... I can't remember what the name of the newest ones are, but I suppose... It, ah, ah, that's a good thing. It tells us what the genome is next to them there. That's new, isn't it, I think? That's good, because then at a glance we'll be able to see what our newest ones are. I want the Isle of Wight ones. Here we go. That ain't the Isle of Wight. Um, but I'm sure it was Isle of Wight, Baryonyx. I, I want a Baryonyx, so we'll, we'll send them there. Okay, we have two teams, so... Uh, where else is the Baryonyx, to be fair? And the Spinosaurus. Uh, Succio... Sucreomimus. Uh, who else have we got? The Gigant... Gigant Spinosaurus. That's new. I mean, really, some s slightly easier... Um, uh, herbivores would probably be a good start, wouldn't it, really? I like how there's some locked ones. I'm guessing they're our new ones with the... 
Some spooky dinos in. Okay, what about you there? You got baryonyx as well. Okay, so we'll send you there then because I, I really want to put a baryonyx in because we unlocked those in the last episode uh, when we did a look at the uh, the 1.5 update. So, uh, expedition center, fossil center. We need those obviously where the expedition center gets back. Uh, we have a little bit of power. Okay, so the other sort of major operations we need then, ranger station. Uh, so as our little dudes can potter about on their uh, on their cars. So hopefully we can get you in between there. Looks like we can. That's good. And then the uh, the is it the ACU? It's called. It's been a little while since I played this game. There we go. The ACU. That's the other major one we need. That's going to get us the um, the ability to fly a, a copter around and to move dinos and whatever else have you. So let's get some crappy path in for now. I I know. As usual, we are going to have to worry about guests on this site, even though it's meant to be like a super secret island. <laughs> uh, we are going to have to worry about how the guests get on. I would really like to be able to do that. Hold on. Let's try a bit further out. There we go. There we go. Yeah, a little bit. There... And, oops, there, there, okay, and then we can, should be able to just get rid of you, there we go. It's no Rudy Ren Kamal path in, but it's good enough for me, alright, so we've now got our ranger station in with the first car, we've got some fossils, that's good, let's have a look, have we got some baryonyx, yeah, extract the DNA of that baryonyx, and there's baryonyx as well, and a bit of gold, a palladium. Nice. We'll take that. Um, let's send you back out again and pretty much do the same again because I don't think... Oh, you were just you were just one, were you? Oh, that's good. Let's have a look what else we've got. Oh, look at all this. Baryonyx fossil. No, that's what we're doing. Oh, there's a new one. Polyan... I oh, know we've just about unlocked that one, so extract DNA. And there's some more baryonyx. Nice. And we'll sell that. Kind of covers the cost of sending them out there. We've got just under 3 million, which I think... Um... A T-Rex? No, that's um, that we're we're not quite ahead of getting T-Rexes up and set up and running. Let's have a look again at the map. So I'm thinking we do little simple enclosure here with some pretty basic stuff in. Um, to, I really want to. I don't want to spread it too much because I don't know what we're going to need. What, what Doctor Wu is going to require of us, you know. So I'm going to say that we go to enclosures. We put a Hammond Creation Lab in. All right. So let's. Um, Let's swing you around here. So we've got oh we've got weather. Weather's a deal here, which is cool. All right, so we'll put uh, we'll put you in here. All right, we can then do pathing out to it like that. Okay. Now you're saying no power. Is that just because you don't reach? Okay. So is it worth maybe putting a larger one of those in? If we can fit a large one in there, it looked like it'd go. Stick a large one in there, it'll, it gives us wider coverage. So, let's, uh, whoops. Let's get rid of you. No, not the path. No power, I know, I know. But there's no dinos or anything to worry about yet, so we're alright. Come on, lit I mean, literally, you were just there in, in the right place. Okay, good. Boom. And we're going to join you back up to there. And then we'll put the path back in. Okay. Trying to keep it... I've got a feeling, you see, that this is going to be an expensive uh, run, this one. So I'm trying to get us up and running. I love how the lights come on. Look at that. It's so cool. It just looks like the movie, doesn't it? The lights are cutting, cutting out. Um, let's get some dinos incubating then. Do we do we go... See, the problem is they're dead deer. So, Edmontosaurus. Pretty good. Um, 23 rating. Only costs 170 quid, though. Struths, I've only got 10 rating, but they're cheap as hell. Dracorex, we quite like those. They're, they're not... Oh, they're pretty good value for money. Um, they're almost double rating there. They are pretty good value for money. We need about three or four of them. The big dudes are the dear ones, aren't they? These are relatively decent value for money. The para, they're very good value for money, though. They're only 180, and 
They have a 36 base rating. We haven't done anything to that genome, I don't think, even. Okay, let's uh, let's get a couple of those incubating. Para incubate. I'm pretty sure they uh, they're fans of having friends. Um, so we'll get three of them going. Pretty much guaranteed the genome to work as well, which is something you really want to look at. Um, we've got more fossils coming. Okay. Uh, Baryonyx. We look like we're going to have a Baryonyx pretty much up and running straight away. Uh, we'll sell you. Uh, extract. Extract and sell you. Nice. Okay. There's two and a half million in the bank and we've got three dinos incubating. So basically, we just need to build something for those dinos to be seen. Now, this will then be the start of getting some money in. So, it's, um, enclosures. Just a regular viewing gallery, I think. Regular viewing gallery here. Um, if we build it a little bit away from the entrance, that's probably a good idea. So, actually, no, we'll put it no, we won't put it. We'll put it here, actually, right by the entrance. And I'll tell you why. Because then we can have the this path carry on down here. We'll have the, a big exclosure. And there can be some sort of just summit there to keep people happy. Food and drink. Uh, fast food. Or do we go full restaurant? I think I swore we unlocked the bar. Um, yeah, we'll do a restaurant. Okay. And we can actually sort of clip this to the road then as well, which is good there there we go and it's nothing special like i say i think we're going to play this one as less as a less of a tourist trap and more of a the seedy guys are coming in to check it out uh whether or not we can get a fence in here now because it's got to come off this there it is look what i'm hoping is we can do something like do we go straight into electric fence or do we just go for like heavy metal nah, 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 nah. that was my heavy metal impression did you like it so we can come down here then, you see. Keep that straight line going. Let's have a look at the map. Let's have a look at the map and see. Yeah, I think we kind of take up this area here. Like that. Ladies and gentlemen. We used to have a... Um, back in a previous life. I've mentioned this a couple of times. But I used to be a magician. Um, don't perform anymore, but in a previous life I used to be uh, a magician. I still occasionally uh, attend events and stuff uh, for magicians, for fun, mostly to see friends and stuff. And one of the games we would always play, was a bit of a drinking game, was when the performances were on, when they, they sort of put gala shows on at night. And um, whenever somebody said, ladies and gentlemen, you had to have a drink, because it was always one of those things that, it was one of those things that people say, when they don't know what else to say. Why is that? Why is that a weird angle? Let's build you out this way instead. Right. There we go. Now, where's our ranger? Ranger's here. <gasps> can we get, If we can get a ranger gate in there, I don't think we can. That's going to say it's a little bit too much of a squeeze, isn't it? That's a shame. Oh. Oh, that's fine. What about over here? That'd be really good. Yeah, that's perfect. We'll have one there. I say perfect. It's good enough. Uh, to an author, carnivore fossil. I'll I'll say accept to that because I think we're going to send them out looking for some more baryonyx anyway. Um, there we go. Just to get the baryonyx one. Okay. So this is going to be quite a small one, all right? But we do need some water in it. Landscapes. Here we go. So, we'll do some water here, I think. That's good. Um, otherwise, we'll see. I, I would say that's probably a little too forested for my liking. So, I'm going to come in and take you away. All right. And then we'll put some of this shrub in. Because we're all for a bit of shrub. And then with the terrain... Uh, is that the like the smooth one? Yeah. Okay. Let's just use a bit of smoothing terrain here, where the uh, the Hammond Center just looks a little funky. Here we go. I'll smooth it out a little bit. Day night cycle. I'm loving. By the way, that's a really nice feature that they added in the free update. So even if you don't buy the DLC, you'll get that, which is pretty sweet. 
because it's just look at the sun coming up it's beautiful um right then let's uh what's this telling me oh there's no path to it all right oh and there's no there's no uh <laughs> there's no fence in between them either there we go Ooh, that could have been fun um there we go. Now we can open our dudes here. And we can release all of you. So we're going to need some herbivoric food for you. I think I've just made up a word there. Uh, operations and closures. Here we go. The feeders have all been neatened up into a little queue, which is great. And we now have an uh, ex that's a larger grain for herbivore feeder. We unlocked that through research uh, recently. So we'll place this down here. So that it's nice and visible from the viewing area. And we should now start to get droves of people coming in. Any minute now. Absolute droves of people coming in. No. Okay. Um, well, we'll keep going. We'll keep working on it. Um, we found some more fossils, have we? Let's have a look. Uh, Baryonyx. Nice. Baryonyx. Good. We'll sell you... Extract, extract, sell. Okay, so that should give us a decent enough genome for a baryonyx to start making that be our, uh, our next uh, our next catch, basically. So let's have a look. What have we not got then? Let's start. I mean, uh, a lot of meat eaters. I mean, we'll have to unlock them eventually, I guess. But I really wanted to help out with some uh, sort of filling in the gaps on some of the some of the herbies, you know. We've completely done that one. Look, no new fossils to be found at all there. What about over here? Majungasaurus. Yeah, I've got a good name, Majungasaurus, but you're still going to eat everything. This one, this Mutaborosaurus, only got 40% genome, so let's try and fill that one out a little bit, and we'll do a Mutaborosaurus. I reckon you're the only place we can find you, so that's fine. Uh, oh, what's that there? Stegosaurus. Yeah, let's get working on a steggy, steggy as well, because that's one of the classics, uh, the classic dinos. That's one of them school dinos, isn't it? Uh, now look at this. Oh my God, that's got to be a photograph there. Look at that. So this is new. Um, this come with the one point eight update. Actually, is this uh, this idea that dinos herd now? So one of them is selected as the alpha, and the others will will naturally follow it, which is pretty fantastic. Um, that they've managed to get that into the game. I mean, to be honest with you, it probably should have been in the game in the first place. But you know what? They've listened to you and they've done it, which is good. Uh, I just think they look really good. I need to screenshot this video, so... Boom. Uh, done. Okay, you carry on, guys. You're looking great. Girls, even. You're looking great. So, people now in the place? Oh, yeah, here we go. The people now in the place. Let's have a look how the restaurant's getting on. Uh, yeah, you're fine. Let's just do you the Jurassic Nom, though, because I never like having the the bottom uh, 20. never like having the bottom thing for sale. All right, good. So we've got people coming in, which means we should have cash coming in. 62 grand a minute. It's not loads, but it's enough to get us started as we work on, um, on really on another enclosure. I guess, really, we should probably look at... Um, see, that's just going straight into here, which is a little bit wasteful, to be honest, because um, cause really, we should have one of these in like a multiple setup. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, Hammond Creation Center. We're going to get you on here. All right. Uh, oh, other way around. So it makes sense. All right. So we're going to get you... There. In the hopes that I can connect that wall up neat. Oops. Got a feeling I won't be able to. Oh, no, I can. Good. Okay, so that's going to go there. All right. And then our path. Uh, no, that's not a path. I call that a path. This is a path. All right. Our path can come right down here nice and neat. All right, and then we can do around here like this. Come on. Ooh, there. 
No, you're a bit too... F a little too close there. Let's try that again. Uh, oh, we've got a little bit more to play with, look. So let's do paths. There, that's more like it. To there, okay. And we'll join you up. And we'll sort the rest out in a moment, but we do... We, oh, we are going to have to do a little bit of landscape work there. So that path isn't going to kill people. There we go. All right. And now what we'll do is get some fencing in here. Like this. Uh, like so. That doesn't look very straight, and that's because it isn't. So, hold on, we can do a delete mode, can't we? There we go. Let's try that again. We'll come from here out. There. I want it to be pretty much bob on. You're too small to do. Okay. Let's try again. Yeah, there you go. You found it then. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, good. And now we can get rid of you with a view eventually to have this look after three different pens now. So if we go to tr uh, terrain and just get rid of you, make you nice and clear so we can see. All right, and maybe make you a bit clear as well, just so the uh, the door works a bit better. Okay, we'll get a gate on there, like so. Now let's just bodge this fix while we think about it. So we're going to come from there around to. Like there. Okay. And there we can delete you. Oh, hello. Sell a T Rex. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We're not. We are not looking after. We are not looking after T Rexes, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, the, oh, that puts itself back in. That's okay. I was putting that there just in case it left a gap. But we're alright now. We can do this, this, and this. Okay. So. Closures, fences. We can now put a fence back in there. Up to here. Um, and sort of join the plan is to join that up. There we go. That's good enough. Um, and then we'll put our operations gate in. Here? No, we're not going to do it there, are we? Oh, 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 that is, like, perfect, actually. Right, which means we can now get rid of that one. Okay. Um, actually, just going to bring some pa some of this fence here, just so we can have a bit of a better go at this now. Because that was a bit messy before, to be honest, right? Paths. This is probably costing us far too much wasted money. Let's see, there we go. But you know me, geekism, we're all about making things look nice. To there. Good. And then demolish you, 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 and you. Gives you guys a bit of bigger more space. Uh, oh, you're not actually very happy. You need another, like, two of you, I guess? Wow, okay. Um... Okay, well, let's get working on that then, eh? Two more paras. Hatchery offline! There's no power. Okay. Oh, God. We're going to have an awful kickoff here. Uh, small substation for now. We can always replace it with a larger one later. Oh. I right, literally just want you to go there. There we go. Hatchery back online. Nicely done. Para incubate. Para incubate. Okay, we'll get two of you done. Uh, oh, I thought we could do. Oh, it's a new build, isn't it? We we didn't move it. We rebuilt it. We can make it bigger. We can make it better. Let's do six of them. Hell, because then it gives us a little bit of uh, breathing room if one of them uh, decides to snuff it. Okay, how are you getting on? Don't be kicking the balls, you. I'll knock you out. I will knock you out. 
And we might have to knock him out, actually. No problem. Ask, we are going to have to knock him out, because otherwise they're just going to kick off. They can all run away. Let's fill you back in with some plants in there. There we go. Uh, grassland and forest are okay. Come on, come on. I need to... Um, oops. Add a, add a schedule to that. There we go. Um, Adding to the list. There we go. We knock them both out. I feel bad for doing it, but, you know, needs must. Uh, you're telling me you've got no power? Requires power? Or is it just... Well, what's up with power? Yeah, I've got power then, haven't you? I don't know what you're telling me. You come and knock this dude out, please, before he kicks the fence off. And then we'll get you. Let's have a look what we got here. Oh, nice. Some steggy. Uh, oh, nearly full one on that. A Mutaborosaurus. Nice. And a bit of cash, which, you know what? I'll happily take. And they both. They're both back waiting. Okay, so is that the only place that's got Stegosaurus? I'm going to send you back there then. And we'll send you back to Australia then, I suppose, to help the Mutaborosaurus a bit. Alright. Um, there we go. You're all knocked out now. One, two... Oh. Request Get him knocked out. I didn't realise they need that many of them. And they aren't incubating now. But you've got power lock here. Lovely power. Powered, yes. Um, proved output then, see if that's the problem. I can't imagine that whole substation is being let down by by that. See, their numbers are going up now. Is that what it was, really? That's Well, I suppose there are a lot of buildings here, I suppose. Yeah, a lot of buildings there, thinking about it. Alright, so we're going to leave them all knocked out for a minute. Because, yeah, they need, a, they need a lot. They need almost double what we put in there. Which is probably why they're cheap. <laughs> um, oh, this rain's heavy, man. Looks good, though, doesn't it? So what I'm thinking then, you see, is what we can do is give another another pen here and like two here, basically, that are fed off this and this for some carnivorous things. Oh, there's not much room there, but we could have like a long, thin one here with a viewing platform down it that's just got like a uh, like a mid-level uh, mid-level um, meat eater in or something, you know. In fact, let's start working out those paths just while these dinos here finish themselves off. So. Follow this funky line down. To like here, I guess. And then a straight line across. So there, and then up, like here, yeah, to this thing, okay, so then we come to here, there, there, nice, so that is, that will be, that will become two, I think, two smaller enclosures, alright, because I think, um, or is it just one? Are we just going to deal with that being one? No, no, I'd really like that to be two smaller. Build, connect, and power a gift shop for the security um, people. Okay. 
if we just do a straight line down there, is that going to be enough space for something little? The more points of failure you introduce, that's the nature of chaos. Oh, you and your chaos are going to start dripping bits of water down the back of me out in a minute, aren't you? You're not technically joined up there, are you? <laughs> there we go, then. So look at that. All right, that'll do. Okay, because I think I think although it's a little messy, we'll we may well have a uh, another go at it later on. But what it does, you see, is it just makes this little box here much more usable. So we're going to open this gate, and we're going to click in here, and we're going to release all of these. And then whilst they're being released, we're going to come over to our ACU. And we're, no, we're not. We're going to come over to the actual building and we're going to transport all of these basically into the same thing. But this is, this is the only way you can wake them up as far as I know. He's moving them. So, and then as that all comes together, <laughs> he says, that should give us six of these dudes in the same tub. And they should be a lot happier, all right? In the meantime, let's have a look at our viewing platforms um, and see if these are going to be worth having. No, not obviously not that way, is it, mate? Because that's the... Uh, there you go. See, that there and that there, I think, will actually make two pretty good... Uh, two pretty good viewing platforms. So, one. Uh, two. Yeah, like that. Now, that was interesting there. Management views. What's this telling me here? Total required power, six. Total available power, six. Huh. Six. Confirming asset delivery. Let's turn that into the proved output, two. Asset transportation complete. Just to give us a little bit of more... Effort. Okay, are you all out? Close the gate. Okay. And then that should now... Should be much happier now. Your population's up, your social's up. Alright. And there's six powers in there. You've got enough room and stuff. Water is essential, and your dinosaurs require plenty of there's water. Love, calm. Claire Deering, I swear to God, there is water. Jesus told you to wait in the car okay so um gift shop we can do a gift shop that's one of the uh it's actually one of the larger ones isn't it the gift shop if i remember rightly uh yeah here so what i'm thinking is now we've moved that all around you see we can uh hmm. the plan was to get a couple in there but i guess just that one we'll have to do all right well it gets it in there anyway all right, here, uh, what well, we got? Fossils. View our fossils. Oh, look at all this steggies. Is that a stegon one as well? Yeah, that's what we want. Sexy steggies. Mutaborosaurus as well. Look, filling out a bit. Okay, I want to do then, and I'm hoping it's enough room for it. I want to do a baryonyx because we unlocked them in the last episode, and I haven't built one. So we're going to quickly do one of them to wrap up uh, today's episode. Where are you, baryonyx? Boom. I hope. Let's have a look. Data will become available after the first incubation. See, that's not what you want, is it? Um, incubate. Oh, it's absolutely wiped us out. It better not fail. Oh, it's all right. The gift shops give us 100 grand. You did good. Okay, we've got a storm. That's a job well done. Oh, and forest adaptation. I think that means that they're happier to have some more forests. Have we got a way of seeing research on here? Fossils. Expedition map. Uh-oh. Have we got no power? Uh-oh. Um where's our where's our where's our um uh cars? No, not you. Ranger station. And we got to go and do it ourselves, are we? Come on then. There you are, it's something doing. Do it yourself.
That should hopefully get power back up and running. And also, there's something over here. I guess a viewing platform or something, maybe, down the bottom. Let's go and have a look. Ah, get out of the way, then. Oh, no, the Hammond Center. There we go. Thanks. Good job. That was a nice little fun thing, wasn't it? I think that means we've got power back up and running. Yeah. Looks like the storm just knocks out a bit of power. Still saying that something hasn't got... Oh, it's these two down here. Yes, of course. Okay, that's fine. We can manage them. Let's send these back out again then. Um, very quickly, let's do... Uh, let's just do two random ones, whatever. Okay. Is my Baryonyx coming? He's cooking. Baryonyx is cooking. Let's get the uh, the path in ready so that people can come and see him. Her. I always call them boy. I don't know why. They are girlies. They are young ladies. Lady dinos. Because of reasons. Um, new Mutaburosaurus is now available. I would kind of like to put one of them in as well, actually. Uh, path. Oh, hello. Maintain a facility rating of five stars for three minutes. I mean, we can try. I doubt we have that, though. Sensor is four and a half at the moment. Basically, we need a hotel, so we'll look at doing that in the next episode. Okay, first of all, though, let's get these joined up. There we go. Then we should be able to neaten that up. No? No? That's a shame. Uh, let's try from there. To be fair, we could do like a nice curve here, actually. Because I don't think anything else is going to be down there. All right. Uh, so, Baryonyx. Mr. Baryonyx needs some water. And you can share his water with uh, this one. Let's clear these trees out because it's going to be a pretty crap thing if you can't see anything. Um, actually, well, I mean, those ones are fine there, really. Okay, and then a, few, a couple here. I mean, nothing crazy, though, because, you know, people do want to see. You can have a few there. We can squeeze them in. Uh, and a few up here. I'm trying to think where's, like, like good. And a little bit there in the middle, just to give them a little bit of a uh, chill-out space. I think there needs to go. Okay. Now, I think, actually, we can come in here and see, can't we? Yeah, look at that. Okay, that's a good shot. All right. Okay, that looks good. Happy with that. Happy with the slight mess of terrain as well. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, are we skinned? Oh, we're not mega skinned, but we're pretty skinned. Okay, so we should be able to put you in here to look after these two beauties. Alright. Build you along the path. And the plan will be, if we can, join you up. Nice. So it requires power. You have we run out of power again? Let's have a look at our management views. No, 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 not the map. Management views. Total available power one. Oh, I see. Power output is seventy. Power used is sixty-nine. Right. Okay. I was thinking that that one number was quite low. Um. Okay. Baryonyx is still on the cooker. Well, God, this is going to be a long video. I'm I apologise <laughs> for the length of the video. Um, these, look at them. See, look how they all hang out together. It's so much better than before. This herding thing, man. I'm loving it. I am loving it. It's a really nice... Do you know what? Relatively, like, I don't want to say simple, because I, I imagine... I don't know anything about coding. I imagine the code is quite difficult, but... A small addition, really. It's made such a difference, I think. I hope this Baryonyx is going to be okay down here. Because, hell, this is a lot of uh, space if he wasn't. Come on. 90%. We're almost there, pal. We're almost there. Let's just have a look at our gift shop and see if we can make it a little better. Uh, let's sell Barbasol and we'll sell it for... Oh, we can sell it for 25. Oh, 20, 25. 
I mean, that's a dear expensive toy. It's the only thing it sells. It's just rows and rows of Barbasol. Um, so I think we could chuck something else in here because their their pops number's still pretty low. Okay. Keep your animals well fed, especially. In well, the feed has got twenty two out of twenty five in there, so chill your beans. All right. Uh, we have successfully raised something. Uh, we do need though. She has reminded me, food for said creature we'll do a large carnival feeder it just it, i'm pretty sure it just means oh it's too expensive <gasps> how much does the hell does that cost how can it be that expensive well I'll small one for now then i suppose Ugh. um put it nice viewable position there open that gate and then cross our fingers that old Baryonyx is happy enough. Oh, the mu listen to the music. Whoa. Oh my word. She's a tough girl. Um... Ah, so it's a fish eater. Well, we haven't got any fish, so close game. But the good news is, seems pretty happy in his new, in her new containment. Grassland forest is fine. Pop and social, obviously low. All right, coming straight in for some lovely fishy goodness. On it, nom 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 nom. That's good. That's gonna that's give us a star, which is pretty good. Obviously, we need to work on our dinos, but. We are up and running. Hopefully, Dr. Wu will have more to say for us in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. If you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find a link for that in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.